Message from... Brian, this is Brian again. Well, I feel like I called you yesterday, last night and let you know the day, the day that we went to see the governor and made our complaint with his people. Uh, you know, sooner than I took Brian to home, she had a phone call from her son. That the same man they had this big, big blowout against last year, who, I mean, last who punched him in his mouth and bust his lip, was, a, was again having people attack him, so he left. So when she caught, when she, when, we, when I went to, when her son was up there at some stranger's house, so we went to get him from the stranger house, she called DHS and told DHS she had her son, and he was being attacked again, and this man was supposed to have been told to keep away from her son. So evidently that was a with that. They've determined her like they usually do. I guess maybe somebody from the governor's office called them and told them that we made a complaint and we gave them copies of the evidence plus pictures of my daughter that take her on and burnt her. Plus they made copies of the DVD of Jasmine. So the guy called the phone threatening to have her arrested for kidnapping, which they don't want the federal government involved in because I believe that the federal government might be investigating something that we're doing. But it, so anyway, so they threatened her. So she told us she wasn't, her son was entitled to be put in a safe environment place. So they tried to her, saying that she, uh, her son, you know, they, he was, they talking about how good he was up until last week. Up until last, now all this, this violence against him done, done, done escalated. We've been going through for the last some years, some of my years. They would go after one kid after another kid to keep her fucked, to keep her messed up, to keep her off her toes. They thought, but they didn't know there was another side of her, somebody that was helping her, really helping her. So now they can't see the, the caseworker came out to the house with last night with two with two guys that they want to take Silver Springs. So the case, I got to get her name. I'm, under under office of her supervisor, I mean of her director, Marie Ambrose, told her that Melvin got to go back to where this man was abusing him at. So she said she wasn't going to take him back. She wasn't going to allow him to take him back. So the woman threatened her, say, if we take, threatened her that if she keep messing around, Melvin was going to never leave that place alive. So Veronica flipped. This time she went too. This time they went too far, and the woman got up in her face. And Veronica protected herself and gave it to gave it what all she had to give that woman. So now the woman called the police. The police come, and the police said they wasn't inside the house. They didn't know what was going on. But the woman's eye was bleeding. Had some cut over her eye or something. So they had to arrest Veronica for assault, and because the woman was a social worker. But this don't mean time that they, all the time that they arrested, they tried Veronica arrested. Time she was out to be around kids. Then they called her down there to say that she, when they kept her kids from her, they called her down to DHS. Time she she had a visit, and when she went down to visit her kids, how they had her and take her to she was afraid to have her committed. They saying that she was crazy and that she needed to be committed. And they was trying to sign her into a psychiatric hospital. And when the people that were facing what was going on, they said, no, we can't force nobody to be signed in uh, you know, a hospital. And the, then when the cops seen what was going on, the cops said, you told us that this woman did this and all that. And so then the caseworker tried to tell her, uh, Patient Douglas, the African woman, who I think they gave a green card to do this dirt, kill Melvin, with the, uh, uh, tried to kill Melvin that time. So now... They, they didn't. They they couldn't. They wouldn't uh, commit her, and she tried to have Veronica arrested. And the cops said, "No, we couldn't do that there." So then, there's other times they came. It's, they got so many files where they try to find a way of having her arrested over the last five or six years, or when the when the DHS worker assaulted them. All of them incidents should be incident incident reports that can be verified. But yes, still, when they say something, when they say something, you get arrested. Not. We, uh, we done found out. We also done found out that they done doctored all the records now. 
Now they done docked it all on the record because the, the, the lawyers and the Cabrini law professor was down three days getting the, getting the, uh, getting, getting the records and a lot of records was missing. But these people are so stupid and don't think that nobody can't recreate the file because the file got, you got the, ain't nobody, I don't know how stupid these people is. So scared or something. So anyway, then they found, but they did find out these kids, they was giving these kids so much that it would kill us. It would kill a, kill, it could kill somebody. Really trying to destroy these kids. I mean, these people are really, really sick. They are really, really sick. They have committed so much crime with so much arrogance that they think that they can just walk on. They think they God. Good morning. Now he can't say he don't know. I found out that I, I, I found out this guy. What well, I think is Maldon Malinsky or whatever his name is. He's the acting head of the. Uh, and I told her, told her secretary, secretary, I mean, the whoever was, was in the governor's office, I told them what was going on, and we told them what was going on. He gave them a copy of, uh, of the judge's verdict and decision. He gave them the deal. He doesn't know what's happening. It's a you know what I mean? They can't say. Like everybody, they, they, this is, this is crazy. This is really crazy. They know they don't want to go to jail. They want to continue what they've been doing. And this is, this is not, this is, this is definitely, this is crazy. She's messed up here real bad. So like I told her, she ain't going to jail. You know what I mean? She ain't going to jail. So I'll, I'll see, you know, I mean, anything else come up, I'll let you know. But I got to think this one up. This is getting really, this is really crazy. <laughs> they don't think they should pay for nothing they did to somebody. <laughs> and we're going to see about that one. Peace.